Hey everybody, welcome to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel and welcome to the beginner's guide of mixing in PreSona Studio One version three. These videos are intended to help you get up and running in PreSona Studio One version three to help mix your next project with no fuss and no muss, whether you're coming over from another DAW or whether this is the first time you've ever used a digital audio workstation. This video is intended to help you get up and running very quickly. So in this video, I wanna talk about how we import our audio into our new song or new session that we created in the last video. So before we do that, if you'd be so kind, please hit that subscribe button and also go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com where I have a lot more training on everything mixing, mastering, and recording so you can make better music in your home studio. So let's head on over to uh, Studio One now. And as you can see in front of us, we have the uh, start page. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the song that we were working on in the last video where I showed you how to create a template, uh, a mix session template to kind of help improve your workflow. So I'm just gonna come on over here and here is the song uh, session that we were working in last time. It's just called Test Song for now. And as you can see, I have a bunch of buses and some effect channels and we have some, uh, some parallel compression tracks and stuff in the last video from the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, head back over to uh, YouTube uh, and on the playlist called uh, Studio One Beginner's Guide, you will find uh, the video that showed you how to create this mixing template. So now to import our audio, as you can see on the edit screen, we have no audio in here. We have no tracks yet because we're going to do that now. So let's say you you opened up your song template, your, your mix template here, and you're going to import some audio so you can start your mixing process. Very easy to do in Studio One, which is really awesome. So if you come on over here to the bottom right right hand corner, you'll see this browse button. Click on the browse button. There we go. And we're gonna come over to uh, files up here in the uh, menu over here. So we're gonna come over the files, okay? And then we're gonna come down to this little sub menu. We're gonna click on files here. And depending on your computer setup and how many hard drives you may have internally and externally to your system, this is gonna look a little bit different. But we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go to what is called um, on my desktop, because this is where I left the audio files. And we are going to look for uh, the folder where you have your audio files. Now, again, uh, depending on where you stored this on your computer, you're just going to navigate to the wherever on your computer you have your audio files located. So in my case, it's on the desktop. It's in this folder called Justin Miles Alone With You Stems. So I'm going to click on the little drop down arrow. And here is all the audio files that we're going to bring into our session. Really, really simple in Studio One. We're just going to highlight the first one. And then we're going to hold our shift key. And we're going to go down to the last file and we're going to hold it. So they're all highlighted here. There's about 12 tracks or so, 15 tracks. You can also see at the bottom of the browser, if I just unclick and just say click on the uh, kick file here, you can see down in the bottom there's a little play, a little uh, player where you can actually preview. You can see some information about the file itself, uh, what kind of file it is, how long it is, so on and so forth. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to hold, highlight the first one, which is kick, hold down the shift key, click the last one and now we have them all highlighted. We're just gonna left click with our mouse or our tracker ball and we're just gonna drag them into the edit screen. Just drag them anywhere. I like to go over to the very beginning, release it and then what's gonna happen is it is gonna import the audio. So I'm gonna close the browser by clicking on the browse button here. And now here is all our audio. Now you can see it's pretty uh, it's pretty spread out here. If on your keyboard you use the uh, W key, which is the, which is the shortcut to zoom out, we can just hit W a bunch of times and we can zoom out and you can see all the audio files that was in imported into Studio One. Really, really simple. If you want to zoom uh, zoom in and look at it a little more closely, you just hit the E key on your keyboard, the letter E for Edward, and that will zoom in. W will zoom out. Quick tip if you're a Studio One user. And this is how you import all the audio into your session. So I hope this video was helpful. I know it's a quick, quick video here, really simple, but I do get some questions, <clears throat> excuse me, from time to time on how to do this. So I wanted to show you how to do this. Uh, come back for the next video where we'll talk about some session organization, color encoding tracks, naming tracks, routing audio, so on and so forth. So for more tips, tricks, concepts, and training around everything home recording, be sure to head out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Head out to our Facebook page as well. Like and follow me on Facebook as I'm always putting up new content. And until the next video, in the PreSonus Studio One Version 3 Beginner's Guide. My name has been David Vignola, and I will talk to you all soon. Take care.